From an outside perspective, it may seem like minimalism and everyday carry don't mix, but I think that with a little bit of mindfulness, you can create an everyday carry that's streamlined and efficient. Hello and welcome to Our Corner of the Internet. My name is Mara Ghost, and today we're going to be going over my minimalist everyday carry. So let's get right into it. I think a huge part of where I slimmed down my EDC is with the wallet, and I've opted for the Apple MagSafe wallet to reduce the amount of bulk in my pockets. The one that I've got here is going to be an Apple's Umber colorway, and it's like this dark caramel color with a reddish hue to it, and honestly, I'm a really big fan. Now, colorway aside, I've gotta say, functionality-wise, I'm not a big fan of this wallet. When rocking my phone without a case, this just slides around way too easily and will completely detach from the phone. To be honest, this is so bad that I have no idea how this wasn't addressed before it hit the market. Further, it's not really the easiest to access your cards with this wallet, but this is remedied by the fact that there are only three cards that can fit into here, so there's not much that you have to sort through. Those two major grips aside, it's actually a really beautifully designed wallet, one paired with the iPhone. Additionally, it has Apple's Find My support, so it'll notify you of the last location where you've detached your wallet, so it's super easy to find if you lose it by chance. Alright, so as for the phone, I'm rocking the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm actually an iPhone convert, originally using Android phones. I honestly really hate it on Apple, but since I love tech, I really wanted to give it a chance to see both sides of the fence. And of course, after I got my first iPhone, I was hooked. I love the iPhone for its ecosystem integration, the beautifully designed apps, its optimization and performance, and the cameras, among other things. For me, staying with the iPhone is totally a no-brainer, but there are absolutely valid reasons to steer clear of Apple. No matter which platform you choose, I think it's important to note how critical the role of phones play in our daily lives, and for many people, it's an indispensable part of their everyday carry. Speaking of important parts of everyday carry, to me, a pen is super important. Working an office job, I do a lot of writing, whether it's writing notes to myself or leaving messages for other people. I find that having a quality pen that feels good to write with is super important to me personally. What I've got here is going to be the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Pen. And what I like about this pen so much is the uniformity. To me, it just looks super streamlined. Another nice aspect of this pen is the texture, as it has a lot of little grooves machined into the body of the pen that adds a nice grip. Everyone who I've handed this pen to says that they love it, and after years of owning it, I still fidget with it constantly. Now, it's not cheap at around $100, but if you appreciate good design and gear that will last, I don't think you'll be disappointed by this pen. Alrighty, the carabiner that we've got here is going to be the James Brand Melville, and before we continue, I just want to mention that this thing is stupid expensive for what it is, coming in at $60. If you can look past the price, it's honestly really good. It's designed in a way that it has two compartments, one for your keys to go and one where you put your belt loop in. This way, when you're unhooking the carabiner from your belt loop, it's harder for your keys to fall out and get lost. The version here is going to be machined out of solid aluminum, which makes it feel very premium, and it also has a built-in bottle opener, which in my experience hasn't been the best to use, but it will work in a pinch. Continuing with the key situation, I've also got an air tag on my keys. Of course, this is great for finding lost items, and for me, it adds a lot of peace of mind knowing that if I ever lose my keys, I can always find it by using Apple's Find My app. I can see it on a map, track its precise location, and I can also have it play a sound too. Battery life on these has been pretty good, lasting me a little bit over a year, and the batteries are super easy to replace too. I almost forgot my AirPods. These are the second generation AirPods Pro, and the noise cancellation on these is fantastic. Now, I don't have too much experience with in-ear in -ear earbuds noise cancellation, but these are amazing. I was mowing the lawn with these, and it just completely eliminated the noise of the lawnmower. Not completely, but it was pretty good at eliminating the noise from the lawnmower. The silicone tips provide a good seal, although they do fall out of my ears, and the sound quality is fantastic. With the second generation, you can't see it because the case covers it up, but there's going to be a lanyard, a lanyard loop as well as speakers so you can have your AirPods play a noise in case you lose them. Let's go ahead and check that out now. Alrighty, let's test it out. I've actually never done this before. So it's like a little bit more higher pitched than the AirTags. But yeah, so that's gonna be the AirPods. I've got them in a leather case from Native Union, I believe. Um, and I just wanna make sure I got a case because I know my previous AirPods got super scratched up and the dye from my black jeans kind of rubbed off on the, 
on the white plastic of the AirPods. So just uh, the AirPods Pro, they're amazing. I love them and they have been a fantastic addition to my EDC. And lastly, what you've probably been waiting for is going to be the knife. This is the CJRB Pyrite. And I initially found this on Taylor Martin's YouTube channel, Best Damn EDC. If you're into EDC, I'm sure you've heard of him. I've been loving this knife and it's super affordable at around $60, although I think it might be on sale for around 50. It has a super smooth action, a nice locking mechanism, and the fit and finish is super nice. The scales are stainless steel and the blade steel I believe is AR RPM 9, which I don't know too much about, um, but it's held the edge pretty well, honestly. So I've been enjoying using this. I use it every day at work, cutting boxes and stuff. You can actually, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's pretty dirty right now. I should probably clean it off. Um, but I mean, I work in office jobs, so mainly it's just used for opening packages and things like that, but it's been an indispensable part of my EDC. Um, so this is the CJRB Pyrite. Only $50, it's a banger at that price. I will leave a link to this down in the description as well as the other items that I've discussed here. Um, but yeah, fantastic knife, highly recommend. So speaking of minimalist EDC, so that's gonna be my minimalist EDC, that's everything, but there are some deficiencies in it. One thing that I noticed is that I really do appreciate having a handkerchief on me. There have been several situations where like the paper towel dispenser will be all out of paper towels and I'll need to wipe my hands on my pants or something. And my I don't have a microfiber cloth, so I'll need to clean my glasses and I don't have that because I don't have a handkerchief. So that's one area where I feel like I'm missing out on. One thing that I'm not really missing out on is honestly a flashlight. Now don't get me wrong, I think EDC flashlights are fantastic and they definitely have their purpose, but if you're looking to cut down on bulk in your pockets, I think that the, the flashlight on your phone, although it's not nearly as good as a dedicated focused beam of light, it will do in a pinch. So just to recap, one thing that I wish I had was a handkerchief and one thing that I'm okay with not having is a flashlight. Although I'll probably go back to carrying a flashlight in my pocket just because I like to have it just in case, but I just wanted to share that with you. But that is all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you really loved it, then maybe consider subscribing. Guys, if you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at MarlGhost. I'll leave that link down in the description below, as well as links to any of the products that I've mentioned here in this video. But that is all. I have been MarlGhost, and I'll haunt you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Here we go.